Now we're going to go for the supplements, okay? The supplements for sleep and recovery. So we got four supplements that, that usually recommend it, but I just will recommend you the two that I use. The other ones, based on the research, they recommend it very much. But with magnesium, and I one that I do try it until now, and it helped me a lot to have a really good quality and a hygiene of my sleep. So if you are wanna try the magnesium, try to have this type, which is going to be really easy to digest in your body. And between four to 800 milligrams per day is going to be awesome. I usually took two, cup, uh, two capsules of 250 milligrams, which is going to be around 500, which for me is optimal. It is good for me. And then you can build up through this point of 250 milligrams if you come and trying to build it up. But as well, you can find any magnesium naturally from greens, uh, like for example, spinach, avocado, green beans and any other vegetable that is going to be green. Ashwanda is an Indian root that is really good because it's going to allow you to calm where it's going to be your nervous system. And usually I got 500 milligrams before going to bed, like one hour with my dinner or two hours with my dinner, that is going to be in my advice the better. Because if I take through the day, I will feel that is not me. And I usually am really hyper during the day. But that's my advice with melatonin, two to five, uh, five milligrams per day is going to be optimal, but I don't recommend it because I haven't used it. And with leatine, 300 milligrams is going to be awesome, but well, I haven't used it, so if you want to give it a try, based on that research, they are really good, but I haven't tried them yet. Anyway, guys, now we are going to start with the application, so please do take another break, one minute break, stop this video, and then we're going to carry on what is going to be with the evening routine creation. <laughs> 